All right, so remember, cosine inverse of square root of 3 over 2, that's looking for the, starts with an A, angle. So you're looking for the angle. It's basically the same thing. You're basically saying cosine of what angle equals negative square root of 3 over 2. Basically the same thing of what you just did on your previous homework. It's just written with inverse cosine. So we know the unit circle. We have the unit circle. We have this first quadrant of the unit circle memorized because when we take our quiz, it's not going to be provided to us. So we know this very, very well. Now remember, the cosine on the unit circle represents the x-coordinate. Now we don't have any negatives here, do we? But we know that cosine is negative, or the x-coordinates are negative in the second and third quadrant, right? So let's just kind of deal with our angles first. Which one equals square root of 3 over 2? Where is the x-coordinate square root of 3 over 2? Yeah, but I'm sorry, but which angle in the first quadrant gives us square root of 3 over 2? Do you guys see that? Pi over 6, x coordinate square root of 3 over 2, right? But what we have is it has to be here, here, right? It's the reflection. It's in the, it has to be in the second or the third quadrant. So if this angle is pi over 6, that means this is also a reference angle, which is pi over 6. That means this reference angle is also pi over 6. So what could be my two possible angles here? I could have from here to here. So that's, so that's basically half, half of a circle pi, but less than pi over 6. Does anybody know what that angle would be? Yes, but do it in radians, which would be 5 pi over 6. So theta equals 5 pi over 6. Or we could do this angle, which it would be? Six. We're in six. You keep on confusing because you said six. Yeah. Is everybody kind of okay with our two angles? Now, the last thing, those are our two angles that, that could equal. You also could be negative angles. But in your notes, we looked at what was cosine restricted by. You probably forgot it and you might not have it in front of you. But cosine, the range uh, or cosine, the domain of cosine is restricted between zero and 2 pi. I'm sorry, 0 and pi. So which one of these angles lie between 0 and pi? 5 pi over 6. So that's your answer, 5 pi over 6. Even though they both produce a next coordinate of negative square root of 3 over 2, 5 pi over 6 is the only one that's between 0 and pi. Because remember, sine and, cos sine and tangent are between negative pi halves and pi halves. So it's a little little thing that's going to come up. I will tell you that. 